Hey everybody, it's James again. Uh, I wanted to read you something from a book that I've been mentioning in a couple of my videos. I don't know if the uh, if this is going to be backwards or not, or reverse, but uh, Sister Amy Wang. Uh, the book is called Woman at the Well, if you can get this book. Uh, she, I'm originally from Los Angeles, and she actually ended up in Los Angeles, but I met her in Houston, and I bought this book from her, and I met her. Uh, amazing book, amazing life, amazing testimony, but I wanted to read you something about baptism. In the Bible, after on the day of Pentecost, they all were the apostles and uh, approximately 120 people in the upper room received the Holy Ghost, and uh, so they had to be baptized in Jesus' name because in the book of Acts, after uh, the day of Pentecost, uh, the people in the gathering were asking the apostles, men and brethren, what was, what must we do? And that was after Peter told them, uh, well, you killed your, uh, your ticket out of here. You know, Christ Jesus was God in flesh, and you killed him. And uh, they were, that pricked in their hearts, the Bible said, and they asked men and brethren, what should we do? What must we do? What must we do, not should? And Peter told them, you know, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. It doesn't say the gift of speaking in tongues, like the spiritual gift of tongues. It says the gift of the Holy Ghost, mean, meaning the gift being the Holy Ghost. And when you get the Holy Ghost and you are born of the Spirit, words unknown to you will come out of your mouth, just like a baby crying has never cried before so there's a there's a audio uh audio uh evidence to you and uh so anyway this book amy wang's mother uh, i want to read you her testimony about her mother now they're chinese or from taiwan taiwanese uh they were buddhist and uh amy sister amy wang left uh, her homeland and ended up in, in Los Angeles. It's a really long story, but it's amazing. But her mom, now God kept reassuring Sister Wang, your mom will be okay. And Sister Wang was, well, you know she's got to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You know she's got to get the gift of the Holy Ghost. You know she's got to be born of the water, like Jesus said. And she's got to be born of the Spirit, like Jesus said. She's got to speak in tongues like a new baby lets out whelps and hollers with his mouth. That's how we're born. She's telling Jesus, you need, and Jesus kept telling her in visions and dreams or what have you, uh, it's okay. It's going to be okay. It's fine. It's fine. Well, Amy, Sister Amy Wang's mom died. And then uh, Sister Wang went to the funeral, and uh, I don't want to go into all the details, uh, there, but at one point during the uh, aftermath of the funeral and everything, the dad, I'm going to read it to you, because what better way than her testimony in this book, it says, uh, this is Sister Amy Wang speaking in the book. Later, my dad said to me, there is something I would like to find out from you. Perhaps now is the time. I said, what is it? He said, before your mother passed away, did she call you up? I said, yes. I often prayed for her on the phone, telling her if she wants to leave, it will be soon, very soon, and the Lord Jesus will carry her home. My dad said, after she hung up the phone the other day, she asked me to get a bath ready for her in the restroom. She said before her departure to give her a pool of water. Do you know what she did? Your mother was bedridden and could not even get out of bed, much less take a bath. I thought for a little while, then I suddenly understood why. While my mother was in the U.S., I kept telling her to be baptized, but she did not fully understand the reason back then. She turned me down for fear that this baptism would affect my two devout Buddha-worshipping sisters. Because of my mother's love, she almost missed out on a blessing from the kingdom of heaven. I was worried about her and had been praying for her since then. I did not know she had this matter buried in her heart, and before passing on, she asked for a tub of 
tub full of water, symbolic of the ceremony of water baptism. Dad said she she was very determined, and he granted her wish and filled the bath with water himself. It was amazing that she could walk like a completely healthy woman, step into the bath, and immerse herself completely in the water. When she raised herself from the water, she was saying, ba 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 non-stop. At that time, I asked my father, Dad, did you understand what she was saying? My dad shook his head, saying, Your mother was like an insane person, speaking continually for a while. Then she rested herself peacefully in the water, still speaking a tongue I had never heard before. While I was hearing this, I was crying because I saw the magnitude of God's love. He had his special way to baptize mom a baptism of fire and of the Holy Spirit before she departed from the earth. I told my father, Dad, did you remember when you were in America I begged mom to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus and be filled with his spirit after she received Jesus? After listening to you, I thought God had given her the most precious blessing. Now she is in heaven with Jesus. Dad, today you saw the children laughing aloud. This is a sign, a sure sign of God's presence with us. Sister Amy Wang's mother baptized herself in a bathtub in the name of Jesus Christ and had her sins washed away and received the gift of the Holy Ghost, the gift being the Holy Ghost, and spoke with another tongue that she did not know and her dad did not understand. This is the born-again experience that Jesus was speaking of when he said, Man must be born of the water, and he must be born of the Spirit, or he, he cannot even see the kingdom of God. <laughs> well, that is something else. You can baptize yourself. Amen.